and welcome back to another episode of Harmonies from Home. In today's video, I'll be talking about one of the most important things when it comes to playing an instrument, which is tuning. Tuning is a way to adjust the intonation of your instrument to make sure that your instrument is in the correct pitch. If you don't tune your instruments before you start practicing or rehearsing, then you'll probably play everything else out of tune and that won't be helpful for your practice at all. So it's pretty important that you do know how to tune your instrument. Today, I'll just be covering the basics of tuning for the violin and the viola. So if you play any other instrument, stay tuned for future videos on our channel where our other members will be explaining to you how to handle that. Also, keep in mind that your instruments are really fragile and that you must be able to handle your instrument with care. Some of your instruments can get pretty expensive, so you want to make sure that you know how to tune it the proper way and that you don't damage your instrument. First things first, we highly recommend that you have a tuning app downloaded on your device. There are countless free tuning apps that you can find on the App Store and they're all amazing. But for reference, this is the app that I personally use and I'll be explaining to you the process of tuning by using this app today. If you click on this lovely little button here, your tuner is activated. If you click on this button on the right, your device will actually play that pitch out loud. And you can adjust which pitch is being played by controlling these buttons. Now go back to clicking on the left button. This number here represents Hertz, which basically refers to the frequency of the sound. I won't get into the heavy sciences today, but the generally accepted tuning is to 440 Hertz. So use these buttons to adjust your number to 440 if it isn't already. Next, get out your instrument. For violinists and our violists, our instruments might look a little different, but that's totally fine. Some of you guys may have four fine tuners located on your instrument, and some of you might have only one, or maybe even two. But all of us have four pegs on the top, and this is important because we use the fine tuners and the pegs to tune our instrument. If you have fine tuners, we strongly recommend that you use those to tune your instruments. Hold up your instrument upright like this, and take a look at your fine tuners. Turning the fine tuners clockwise makes your string sharper or higher. Turning them in a counterclockwise direction then makes your string flatter or lower. For our violinists, your strings are E, A, D, and G. And for our violists, your strings are A, D, G, and C. So now I'll be showing you how to tune your instruments by using the fine tuners and the tuning app. So first I want you to activate your tuning app by clicking on the button on the left. For violins and violas, it is best to start tuning your instrument by checking your A string first. So go ahead and pluck that. As you can see, the needle is pointing towards the right, which means my A string is on the sharp side. So what I want to do is rotate my fine tuner in the counterclockwise direction to make it flatter. Continue to do so until the needle is pointing towards the zero. So now you can see that the needle is pointing towards the zero and the green light was flashing, which means my A string is in tune. So the next string you have to go to is the D string. As you can see, this time the needle is pointing towards the left, which means that my D string is on the flat side. In that case, you want to turn your fine tuners in the clockwise direction to make it sharper. My needle is pointing towards the zero, which means my A and my D string are in tune. The next string you would tune is the G string. It's a little on the left side of the zero, so I want to make it 
higher by turning the fine tuner in the clockwise direction. And for our violist, the next string you want to tune is your C string, but for a violinist, you might want to tune your E string. In this case, again, my E string is sharp, so we want to turn it in the counterclockwise direction. And now all four strings of your instrument are tuned and you're ready to play. For some of our violists and violinists, you might have only one fine tuner on your instrument, which is most likely located on either your E string for violinists and A string for violists, and that's completely fine. In that case, you need to depend on the pegs to tune. The pegs are generally harder to use because they can be stiff when you try to move it. So if you have a fine tuner, you should definitely use that. But in the case you don't, that's fine, we can still tune. If you want to make the pitch of your string higher, rotate the peg away from you. But if you want to make the pitch of your string lower, rotate the peg towards you. And make use of the tuner app to make sure you're in tune. This time I'll be showing you how to tune your instruments by using the pegs and the tuning app. Again, you want to activate your tuning app by clicking on the button on the left. And again, you want to start off by tuning your A string. My A string is flat, so I want to make it sharper by going to its corresponding peg and turning it away from my body. As you can see, my needle kind of shifted towards the right, which means it's a little too sharp. So in that case, I want to go back to my peg and turn it towards my body to make it a little flatter. Now that it's a zero, I can move on to my next string, which is the D string. Again, my D string is on the high side, so I want to go to its peg and turn the peg towards my body. So the needle went past the zero and it indicates that my D string is on the lower side. So what I want to do is go back to its peg and turn it away from my body to make it sharper. Now that to zero, you can move on to your next string, which is the G string. For a violinist, this string after the G string is the E string, and for violists, the string after the G string is the C string. Tuning is a trial and error process, and you must be patient and always pluck your string and check the tuning app to make sure you're in tune. For our violinists and violists who have played their instruments for quite a while now, Instead of plucking your strings to tune, you can bow your instruments in tune. This is going to require you to be able to balance your instrument perfectly and that you are comfortable with holding your instrument without your arm and just between your chin because you'll be using your left arm to turn the fine tuners or the peg. And that's it for today's video. Tuning is an extremely important process and unfortunately it's not something that you can master overnight but it's something that actually takes a long time to develop. Thank you so much for watching and we really hope that this video helped you in any way. Thank you and see you next time!